the extremely powerful thing is that when we can make ourselves comfortable whenever we want and that's very important for us actually now this we are working with some sort of intention to make ourselves much more happier and to give ourselves that much great comfort but as opposed to that we are just going in some wrong directions and that is leading us towards sufferings rather than the happiness that we always wanted to gain so the fact is that we always wanted to gain all the happiness through material things we wanted and we seek those things in outer world that's why we are always failed to make impact in the real world that's why we are still struggling to see ourselves in a greater position and see ourselves being more happy the buddha and bodhisattvas the great masters they became enlightened because they knew how to be more happier and what is the ultimate goal of life and what is the real thing we can practice so that will give us the ultimate happiness and they practice and they try to do things for others rather than just clinging to the self i and the the i is the real disastrous word because that is always creating problems and a lot of problems with that so they just realize rather than saying i i and i and just uh, you know sticking with that word and always wanting things for ourselves it would be better if we practice something that will impact the other beings to be something great and to give them happiness so all that great buddhas and bodhisattvas became awakened they awakened because of their great mind to help others and as you can see all of us in this world in this modern world we are always seeking for our own happiness and we are always concerning about our matters and we are always seeking those things to gain right like we always wanted to make ourselves much more happier than others and that kind of i what there is pride is always bringing some sort of negative emotions so uh, you know for ourselves for for the sake of i i will commit jealousy i'll get anger toward others i want more and more and i become greedy and this is how we are working on that's why we are still struggling in this samsara and not being able to get out of it and th- this is the major factor that is pulling us down to this uh, cyclic existence again and again so we can see the difference between the normal sentient beings uh, and uh, the buddha they tried and they did their best for others so they are in the great position right now but we always try to make ourselves to the top of the world we always did and we always think about being great and we worked hard on it that's why we're still struggling here and many more lifetime to be struggled in this cyclic existence as long as we are not free from this our uh, feeling of i and you know this is uh, actually the i is came from the ignorance mind but we are now it is our you know baddest and the uh, greatest or whatever but it is the ultimate source of uh, connection we have it with uh, we have with it